Portland's Park is rated the number one theme park in the UK according to TripAdvisor. With all of its rides and attractions, it really is an amazing park. But what are the top 10 rides at Portland's Park? Portland's Park! Coming in at number 10 is Dino Chase, the ride of the world's smallest lift hill. And trust me when I say, it's a great ride for all the family. It does three laps and you get an awful lot of air time. So if you are looking for your first coaster or just a fun ride, this is perfect for you. At number 9 we have got another family coaster, however depending on where you sit you can get one of the biggest shocks of your life. If you go on the front rows of this ride it is pretty basic with a simple drop and a few turns before going around for a second lap. The back rows however is a very different story, as due to the train being so long you get whipped over those bumps and receive some of the biggest amount of air time and speed that I have ever experienced. So, if you are a thrill seeker, I definitely recommend trying to get the back, however due to it being such a difference in intensity, it is why I put the Caterpillar at number 9. Number 8 is the first ride on the list from the new Tornado Springs, yes. This is Buffalo Falls, a very common water ride located around the world. However, with Tornado Springs theming and the fun of racing your friends, it definitely deserves a spot on this list. It's just such a shame it is such a short ride as you do have to wait a long time in the queue. Staying at Tornado Springs for number 7, we have got Windmill Towers, another ride which doesn't look too intense but packs a lot of air time and joy. I did my first ride on this last weekend and didn't expect a lot, but what I got was very different. We got a lot of continuous air time which is very different from most drop towers where you have one or two drops and the bouncing feeling which was so much fun as well as unique. In addition to this, the queue is extremely short for this attraction as there is two towers so if you either want to do a mini drop tower or get a lot of air time, this is a great ride for your group. P.S. This is basically an adult scare bouncers which is located at Legoland. Number 6 is another drop ride but this is a tiny bit bigger. Yes, this is Magma and this isn't for the faint hearted. It is 25 meters tall which is the tallest ride at the park and you drop a hold of that not once, not twice, but 6 whole times while spinning. I know. That's a crazy ride. However, it is very different from most drop towers as it feels a lot less bad as there is a lot less g-force. It is not just the ride though which puts it at number 6, it is also a theming as it is located within a volcano and for whole time throughout the short queue there is breathtaking theming which leaves you wanting to queue more than wanting to go on the ride itself. Top 5, Whoop Whoop, and for this spot it is going towards Cobra, a very underlooked ride over at the park. It is definitely for the thrill seekers however, with all of its twists, turns and drops. You will have an amazing 2 minutes and I definitely recommend riding it. The only problem I have with this ride though is that the theming is so so awful, which is fine when you are on the ride. However, in the queue line, it is a slow slow line due to the input on the ride, which can get really annoying as well as having no theming and it being in a cattle pen. Honestly, I wouldn't want to wait in there for a while. Nevertheless, so Portons Park has got the amazing freshly trimmed bushes so you can just look at these the whole time. <laughs> For the number 4 spot we have got Velociraptor, my favourite the current boomerang coaster as even though it is a such a short ride, it is packed with many great elements and going down that first drop is actually really really intense. Also there is not many rides in the country which goes backwards as well so it really is an awesome experience. It's not just the ride though which puts it out of number 4 spot. It's also the theming as due to be located in the Gloss Kingdom, the dinosaur theming is so cool. Now it is time for the top 3 and the third spot goes towards the most intense ride at Portons Park and actually in the UK for me, Cyclonader. And trust me when I say this isn't for a faint hearted, as you sit on this gyro swing you keep wondering when it is going to slow down however it keeps on going with that insane speed and facing you in some crazy positions. Sometimes straight up at the sky while other times looking down at some people which look so so small. All of this 5 minute cycle is what makes this ride so so awesome however I would say that if you are new to theme parks do some other rides at the park first as this is very intense but it is an awesome ride for Portions Park. Number 2 goes to a ride which has been at the park for a very long time now but still keeps the thrills as well as the charm to this very day. Yes, this is Flight of the Pterosaur, the ride which I can never name correctly 
but I always want to go on every single time I visit Portland's Park. You fly around the Lost Kingdom like you are a dinosaur, passing so many animatronics, trees, rocks and everything you can imagine. However, nothing beats for station trim breaks at the end. Jokes aside though, this ride is great for all the family and it is so not intense. You just fly around gently across all the theming, so it is such a good fun ride. We are now here at the number one spot and there is no doubt about this position that it is going to go towards the new Storm Chaser. This new attraction is fantastic, so fantastic in fact that my brother rode it seven times in a row. Now this roller coaster is more intense than Flight of the Pterosaur and it is full with many steep turns which cause you to spin so many times. You don't even need the spinning though to enjoy this ride as the layout is also amazing and the theming towards this ride and the local Tornado Springs area is so great it will honestly take your breath away. Literally, it is the best theming in the whole of the UK. One tip though before you do go on this ride, if you do go with more than two people, make sure to sit on separate cars as when you do spin past each other, it is really, really funny. Unfortunately now though, it is time to end this video. If you have enjoyed, please make sure to like, subscribe and comment down below. Also, if you are a massive fan of the channel, go and check out our Patreon. As from a little as £1, you can get up to two day early access to this new videos. But, my name is Tom Derek from Theme Park Posers, and I will see you guys later. Goodbye.